this isn't anything to do with Node. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, but it is about automation with Apple shortcuts. I'm sorry. Um, is anyone who here is iOS? I'm hoping there's more than like one. Okay, that's enough. Cool. Um, so, I had a problem. The problem was, I want to read blog posts, but I don't want to read them right now, and I don't want to read them on my mobile. What I really want to do is read them tomorrow at 10.30 and get a notification to say, like, read this thing. My specification was it needed to be in the native share sheet on iOS, which is this thing here. Because um, that's really just handy. Um, so I thought of some solutions. I thought of building a progressive web app. But that wasn't going to work because it doesn't go in the native share sheet, unfortunately. So I thought, all right, I'll build a native app. But I don't know anything about building a native app, maybe like React Native. I wasn't going to do that, because uh, it would just be a blank screen that just goes into the share sheet. Um, all the other thing was just not care about it, but I wanted it, so I cared about it. <laughs> so the solution I came up with was this. Remind me later. This is an Apple shortcut. And it looks like this, which obviously you can't read. So I've done this with like cropping. Um, this is coding in, on your phone. And it's really, really cool. Um, this has got quite a lot in it, but I've got a sort of reduced uh, case that does the same sort of thing. Um, so um, we have these three steps. It essentially does what, what the one before did, um, with a few things missing. So um, what? is in here. Um, the first thing up here is we run another shortcut. And that shortcut is a Slack auth token, which is this shortcut. It's just another shortcut. And it just outputs some text. That's it. So it runs that. Oh, whoops. It runs that. And then the next thing is it creates a URL. That's it. And that's from this Slack API. Then it uses, see where it's got run shortcut in the authorization header? That is the response of that Slack auth token uh, shortcut. This creates a um, curl request. Um, and, oh, there you go. That's that. I wrote these slides about an hour ago, so I don't really know what order they're in. Um, and then I'm piping the response of that into this other shortcut, which is parse slack, slack response. Parse slack response. It's just another shortcut. And what does it do? It gets a dictionary from input, which is like creating a, an object. Uh, so the Slack API returns JSON. So it creates an object. I get the key OK out of it, which is a Boolean that Slack returns. Um, weirdly, it seems to convert it into number, um, which is weird. But if the value is zero, I show, uh, show a result, something went wrong. Otherwise, I show result done, which looks like that. Uh, what was the other stuff in that long one? It was this, which is like a guard clause. If I didn't get any arguments, just exit. And I had this, which uh, gives you a list of options and, uh, and takes takes a response, and this was something that I was sending to Slack. I want to do a quick demo. This may not work at all, but bear with me. I'm really sorry, you weren't expecting this, were you? Okay. Please work, please work. Oh, don't do this. Does anyone get like the USB port where it like just keeps starting to connect and then not connect and then not connect. Oh gosh, something's gone weird. Okay. 
Right, can I do this full screen? Okay, so I'm here on the Financial Times website. This Macron throws doubt on Brexit delay article looks very interesting. So I'm going to share that. And you can see shortcuts appears here. So I'll click on that. Remind me later. And it runs through all of this. I'm just going to do it in one second. It's gone off. It's made a res it's making a request. It's done. And then hopefully Oh, maybe this like hides notifications. How long did we give them? I <laughs> Boom. Okay. So then Slackbot has reminded me in one second. And it says, you asked me to remind you to read this article. So then the next day at work, I have it set up at 10.30. So the next day at work, I get a notification from Slackbot with all the blog posts that I asked it to remind me later. This took about 45 minutes using shortcuts. It's really, really fun. It's some of the most fun coding I've ever done. And it is coding. This is legit. There's so many things you can do in there. It's crazy. Um, that was the demo. It went well. I'm done. Thank you very much.